Welcome to Mixing Studies. In this video, we use Mixing Studies to evaluate a prolonged PT. We have the following take-home points. Evaluate a prolonged PT with a PT Mixing Study. The Mixing Study will clarify deficiency versus inhibitor. An isolated prolonged PT is usually due to an acquired deficiency of factor 7. It is important to note that the PT evaluates both the extrinsic and common pathways of coagulation. To review, the extrinsic pathway begins when endothelial injury exposes tissue factor. Tissue factor activates factor 7 to 7A. The tissue factor 7A complex converts factor 10 to 10A. Factor 10A works with its cofactor, factor 5A, to convert prothrombin, factor 2, to thrombin. Thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin, and fibrin monomers combine into fibrin strands, which are cross-linked by factor 13 to produce a strong fibrin clot. The first part of the cascade involving tissue factor and factor 7 is historically known as the extrinsic pathway. The rest is known as the common pathway, which is common to both the intrinsic and extrinsic pathways. In this way, the PT tests both the extrinsic and common pathways. To evaluate a prolonged PT, first perform a PT mixing study. The PT mixing study has both the patient plasma with the prolonged PT and control plasma with the normal PT. The patient plasma and control plasma are combined in a one-to-one -one mix with equal parts patient plasma and control plasma. The PT corrects when there is a deficiency state. The PT remains prolonged when there is an inhibitor. The second step in evaluating a prolonged PT is to investigate the cause. To do this, we return to our concept map of the coagulation cascade. When there is an isolated prolonged PT, the defect is in the extrinsic pathway, which consists of factor 7 and tissue factor. Because tissue factor remains behind the scenes until there is endothelial injury, the defect is most likely to be in factor 7. Thus, an isolated prolonged PT could be due to factor 7 deficiency or a factor 7 inhibitor. A prolonged PT is usually due to an acquired factor 7 deficiency. Acquired factor 7 deficiency can occur due to vitamin K deficiency. In this case, effective factors are the vitamin K dependent factors shown here are 2, 7, and 10. Severe vitamin K deficiency prolongs both the PT and the APTT. However, early onset or mild vitamin K deficiency can present with an isolated prolonged PT. Another cause of an isolated prolonged PT is warfarin therapy, which causes deficiency of vitamin K-dependent factors. Warfarin should also prolong both the PT and APTT. However, due to the short half-life of factor 7, only the PT is affected until warfarin is present at high enough doses to prolong the APTT. Another cause of a prolonged PT is liver disease, which affects all extrinsic and common pathway factors. Although liver disease prolongs both the PT and APTT, mild liver disease may initially prolong the PT alone. Similar to liver disease, another cause of a prolonged PT is disseminated intravascular coagulation which consumes all coagulation factors, prolonging both the PT and APTT. However, early DIC may prolong the PT alone. In summary, evaluate a prolonged PT with a PT mixing study. The mixing study will clarify deficiency versus inhibitor. An isolated prolonged PT is usually due to an acquired deficiency of factor 7. This ends our video, Mixing Studies, Evaluating the Prolonged PT.